Hello, good morning year 4. I hope you are doing great. Well, here I am with our this week's first uh, recorded lesson which is about reading coordinates. So let's begin first of all by uh, stating our learning objectives. So by the end of this lesson you should be able to describe the position of a shape or an object on a grid as coordinates x, y in the first quadrant. And you should be able to locate the object or shapes with the given coordinates on a grid in first quadrant. I know lots of words you might be thinking, what are they? For example, what are coordinates? Uh, what is a first quadrant? So how about we first learn about some vocabulary words, which are some new uh, words for them, for us. So the first one is x-axis and then we have y-axis. So if I talk about a coordinate plane, now what is a coordinate plane? A plane is basically a two-dimensional space, all right? So for example, this is a two-dimensional space. Let me make it a square, all right? So this is a two-dimensional uh, shape, which is a square, right? Now, if I imagine this very big, for example, um, you know, uh, let's say it's equal to a country. So how would I be able to locate, um, you know, some place on this two-dimensional space? So of course, I would be needing some directions. So that is basically easier if I can um, locate it using x-axis and y-axis. So what are x-axis and y-axis? So x-axis and y-axis are basically... Uh, the horizontal and the vertical lines over here. For example, this horizontal line here is representing x-axis. All right, and the vertical line going upwards is the y-axis. Now, this is really, really important information that you are getting over here. If you understand what is x-axis and y-axis, you can uh, confidently say that half of the lesson is done. So pay attention here and focus on where the x-axis is and where the y-axis is. All right. And using x-axis and y-axis, um, you know, in the form of an ordered pair, for example, ordered pair like this one, in which x is written first and then y is written, we can locate a position in that uh, you know, plane. For example, these x-axis and y-axis are numbered like this, okay? And you can label them like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And over here as well, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. So if I want to find a location, I can use my x-axis and y-axis points. Now, how I would be able to do that? For example, I want to locate an object over here. Now, just keep yourself uh, imagining this to be very huge, all right? So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use straight lines. So these are the two objects. These are the two lines on the x-axis. I can see that it is almost 4.5, coming in between 4 and 5. And in the y-axis, it is coming between 5 and 6. So this is something which is going in the decimal points. But we can keep it simple and we can, you know, make it a whole number or, or integer as well. So using my x-axis and y-axis, I was able to accurately locate the position of an object or a point or a shape on a two-dimensional, um, you know, grid or you can say in the first quadrant. Now what is first quadrant? First quadrant is basically where x and y both are positive. We, we will talk about the quadrant just in a moment. So um, how about coordinates? So an ordered pair of numbers in the form x, y that describe the position of a point on a grid. 
I hope using this explanation uh, on the slide, it is quite clear. But even if it's not, don't worry, we are going to repeat this information momentarily. All right. Okay, let's move on and let's see what the quadrants are all about. So the first quadrant, the first quadrant consists of x-axis, which is the horizontal line and y-axis, the vertical line, in which both are positive. For example, this one over here, x-axis, and then we have a y-axis going on the top, and this is the first quadrant. So here, my both x-axis and y-axis are, both are positive numbers. If they are not positive or one of them is negative, then that would be a different quadrant. Well, today we are going to focus only on the first quadrant, so I'm not going to talk about when any of them goes negative. Right. So now we understand what our first quadrant is. So let's go back to our learning objectives. So over here, what are our learning objectives? Describe the position of a shape or object on a grid as coordinates x, y in first quadrant. And you should be able to locate the object or shape with the given coordinates on a grid in first quadrant. Well, all those French words or difficult words, I think now you understand what our learning objectives are after going through the new words that we have just learned. Right. Okay, we talked about the first quadrant. Now, how exactly do we read the coordinates or how exactly do we know where that object is on a grid? Now, here in this picture, I can see a fish. Okay, and the fish name is angelfish. Okay, and um, I would like to know where it is on the coordinate. I can see, I can point at it, but what if this is so big that I can't even point at it? You know, sometimes as there are situations or scenarios where you are dealing in bigger space. So in that case, you have to be exact and you are not relying only on the finger pointing. So coordinates are a useful way to locate the position on a map or a grid. Yes, that's what we have just learned. So this is a grid and it shows where the angel fish is swimming. Now let's work out together and write down the coordinates. So if we look carefully at the numbers across the bottom of the grid, all right, remember the bottom of the grid is the x-axis and the grid at y-axis, which is going upwards. Okay, let's see at those numbers. Okay, they are both up to six. The only difference is one is written at the bottom and one is written on the vertical line going upwards. We will use these numbers to give the position of the angel fish. So the number across the bottom are the x-axis. Okay, this is called the x-axis. And our fish is at number five. Okay, and we always read our x-axis first. That's why we are finding the number on x-axis first. After that, we are going to find where the y-axis is. So this is the y-axis. And then we read the y-axis after the x-axis, which is equals to 2. So our first number was 5 and our second number is 2. So the number on the x-axis is 5 and the number on the y-axis is 2. So we are going to write it in a special way in the form of an ordered pair, which is 5 and 2, like this. So this is how we are going to read the coordinates or find the accurate or exact location of an object or a shape on a grid. Right, now this is a totally different situation here. I can see four different colored crosses here in the first quadrant. Now here, if I look at the first one, which is a yellow cross, so I can see that it is on the y-axis and on the y-axis means that it is touching the line, touching the x-axis at zero. So I am going to write my x-axis first, which is zero, and then my y-axis, which is equals to eight. Now look at my blue cross. 
So I'm going to read my x axis first, which is 3. And then I am going to read my y axis, which is equals to 5. Now look at the red one. So red is at the origin. What is an origin? Origin is where both x axis and y axis are 0. So I am going to write here 0, 0. Then look at the green cross. So if I read my x axis first, it will be 5 over here. And what about the y axis? Since it is exactly on top of the x axis, my y axis is 0. So this is basically um, the four coordinates on this first quadrant which were marked using different colored crosses and we were able to write their uh, position using the ordered pair of coordinates which consists of x-axis and y-axis. All right, let's uh, try to do another example. Now this is on from your booklet page number 84. Now here there is an island and I can clearly see the marked x-axis and the y-axis. So how about we write the coordinates of the fish? So I'm going to do the first one with you here. So the fish is located here. My x-axis would be 7 and my y-axis is 3. But remember, we are not going, this is the first time that I'm using the lines here, just to make things easier. But in actuality, when we are actually writing the coordinates, you should keep this information in your head. All right, so this is 7 over here in the x-axis and 3 in the y-axis. Now, how about you finish all four of the coordinates of the different objects in the island? After that, how about we read this one? The island has many palm trees growing on it. Put a P for each of the palm tree at following coordinates. So I'm going to do the first one for you. So first of all, it's 4, 2. So my X axis is 4 and my Y axis is 2. So I am going to write a P for the palm tree here. All right, see my 4 and 2. How about you write P at 10, 3, 3, 6, and 7, 5 for me? Now, there is another question here. There is a patch of quick sand on the island. Put a Q at location 2, 6. You just have to write Q at this location. And there is shark spectral around the island. Put an S at the following points. For example, I can do 1, 4 for you and you can do the rest. So my first is 1 which is x axis and then I have 4. So I'm going to write S here like this. And I'm going to write it exactly at the intersection of 1, 4. So how about you quickly write all the P's, all the Q's and all the S. And you can resume my video after that. All right, so now that you are done with all of the, uh, you know, coordinates, reading the coordinates, you were uh, able to write the letters P, Q and S. Let's move forwards. All right, now this is Teddy and Rosie. Looks like they are having some trouble coming to a, a conclusion. So Teddy is saying that the point which is plotted here is at 7, 3. But Rosie is saying that this point is plotted at 3, 7. So who is correct? 3, 7 means that 3 is the x-axis and 7 is the y-axis. What mistake has one of the children made? That's right. Rosie is incorrect and Teddy is correct. Rosie is trying to read the y-axis before the x-axis, which is incorrect. Right. Now, this is your guided practice here, which is from student book page 81. So, there is x-axis over here and y-axis here. 
there are different coordinates already given here you have to write down the shape for each of them for example i will do question number one for you so two two i can see that there is a green triangle at this point all right so there is two x-axis and two y-axis is a green triangle how about you try to do the rest of it remember to write the correct name of this particular 2d shape all right there are different kinds of shape it's not just triangles or squares or circles i can see some pentagons here i can see some octagons all right i can see some hexagons as well so make sure that you, whatever uh, name of the shape you are uh, trying to write, it is correct. All right, so let's move on now to the next slide. Now this is from your workbook page number, I think, 81. Right, so this is a map, all right, and in this map, this is again looks like an island of some sort. So in this map, I can see so question number one. What would you find at 15 comma 5? Okay, remember that you have to first look at the x-axis. So this is 15. All right. And you are going to then find out 5. Okay, looks like it's a tiger. You can even open your uh, workbook page with me here. Open page number 47 of the workbook, which is using page number 81 for student book. But in workbook, this is page number 47. Right. So um, you can uh, clearly see that it's tiger at 15 and 5. How about you try to solve question number 2 yourself? Write the order pairs to, the give, to give the position of the entrance. Remember, this is an important part of the question entrance to the silver diamond and gold mines so the entrance to each mine is where the road ends all right so let me put a cross here so you have to write the coordinates for this point for this point and for this point okay silver mine gold mine and diamond mine so you are going to write down the coordinates you can even use a ruler Okay, remember to write the X coordinate first and then the Y coordinate. All right. So now that you have uh, resumed my video, let's move on. Let's assess our learning objective. So we are able to describe the position of a shape or object on a grid as coordinates X, Y in the first quadrant. And we were able to locate the object or shapes with the given coordinates on a grid in first quadrant our core citizenship values are to be a risk taker so opportunity does not come gift wrapped you must take risks in order to succeed now here i have a zoo plenary what do you think which animal is at 11 11 so remember you are right reading the x-axis first so here is 11 and then you are going to read the y-axis. So this is 11 here. So the animal here is the toucan. Now this is the loudest animal or the <laughs> loudest bird in the rainforest. That was just a quick fact about a rainforest. So I hope uh, you guys enjoyed because with this our lesson comes to an end. And I hope it was easy for you to understand. Uh, coordinates and what the first quadrant is all about and how to find the position of a shape or an object in a uh, coordinate plane inside the first quadrant so with this i would say goodbye and i hope uh, you all stay safe and stay healthy so i'll see you soon in the next upcoming recorded video take care and bye bye